Hey, welcome back to the show. You're locked in with DXB today. Great to have your company uh, on what is Internet Day. That's why we're talking all things technology, talking all things Internet, and more specifically now, cyber security. Uh, now, how many of you have been hacked or scammed uh, via random text or, of course, at those favourite phone calls as well. And what are the steps we can now take to protect ourselves online? With me now, cybersecurity expert, director at the Colonel. It is Rami Kali. Welcoming, uh, welcoming onto the sofas and onto the show. Rami, great to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. Nice to have you, Tom. I mean, again, I suppose I'll go back to the point that I was mentioning to Mo earlier. I mean, with such a huge, huge issue of cybersecurity, there is just so difficult to sort of quantify. And we often hear this thing that, you know, the hackers are one step ahead of the, 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 the security coder, coders as well, etc. Is there one piece of advice that you can give that sort of wraps it all up? Or is it just too big a topic for that? Oh, I love those. It's, <laughs> <laughs> I love those kind of questions because it's both. Yeah. There is one big piece of advice and it's also too big of a topic to wrap your hand around. In reality, if you look, hacking is really, really common because it's easy, because you can automate it, because you can run a lot of programs that do the job for you. But in reality, 99% of all successful hacks are due to somebody guessing your password. Wow. Or you typing it for them. 99%. And if there's one piece of advice, is just manage your passwords better. Yeah. There are plenty of apps that do that for you. Most people generate their passwords in their mind, which is a bad idea because that's one, guessable. Two, you, can't, you can only generate two or three rather than 500 for all the accounts that you have, right? So manage your passwords better and you would be in the top 10% most secure people in the world. It's um, simple as that, yeah. I randomly write mine down, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got bits of paper everywhere. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the problem. Somebody gets their hand on it yeah. and there, you would say, this is my Gmail password, yeah. but then you might probably also use it on 10 other accounts. So if a hacker might compromise that one password, but then they would test it on other accounts. Mm. And that's how they typically uh, get in. That's the scary part is how simple it is. Yeah. Speaking of scary parts, because <laughs> this is very, very scary, you know, in the age that we're going into with AI and IoT and the fridge and the washing machines are all connected and the ring camera. What is, like, do we have enough cybersecurity experts? Do, do we have enough knowledge and awareness you know, uh, are companies as ready as they should be? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Um, so on the company level, yeah, companies are actually getting much better because there's more information, more technology available. But I love your question when you say, are we cybersecurity ready? Kind of, because we, it always comes down to the individual. Yeah. Even at an organizational level, your weakest link is that one individual who clicks that one malicious link and types in their passwords and allows somebody in. So it still is not a technology problem. It's more of a people, pro people problem. What good ha is having the world's biggest, fanciest lock on your door if you have someone in the house? That's going to open the door. Exactly. <laughs> True. <laughs> That's absolutely fascinating, uh, Rami. And I'd love to hear your opinion with all the buzz around AI and AI and cybersecurity. Where do you see us leveraging AI to make these problems pretty much go away? I'm sure hackers are doing a great job at using AI for nefarious purposes. But how can we use AI to protect ourselves as well? Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. I'm, I'm still not quite certain how we can use AI, but one of the most common use cases where I've seen AI used for cybersecurity attacks is specifically those uh, phishing emails. And a malicious email that looks legitimate, but uh, like says, it come, I'm, it's, it's coming from your bank or it's coming from like Facebook or your Google account and it asks you to click a link to verify that uh, that's you. A lot of attackers are using AI to generate better, more legitimate looking emails and they can do that by feeding information about you into AI so it generates an email that is tailored specifically to you. Like imagine I go and scan through all of your social media and all of your profiles and get the information. Now I know, okay, that's a dog person, not a cat person. They like skiing, but not uh, swimming. Yeah, um, I can ingest that information, feed it into an AI and tell the AI, okay, I wanna break into their Instagram account. Can you help me generate a legitimate looking email with a link that directs to my site as an attacker rather than the real website? And that's how, uh, that's how it's leveraged. 
Yeah, it's not the technology <laughs> these days. I mean, this just blows my mind. But, but this actually happened to me. I actually got hacked um, last year, end of last year, I got hacked my Instagram account. Um, what do we do when we get hacked? How do we, what do we do after that? Because I had to call a friend and he spoke to another friend and we got it sorted out. But what do normal people do when they get hacked? Yeah, sadly, there is not much recourse. Uh, and the better your account is protected, the more difficult it is to recover when it's hacked. Um, Honestly, the protocol is to change your password, log out of all of your devices and contact the company's support. There's very little. Unfortunately, there's very little you can do, which is why when Tom asks what's well, one piece of advice, well, the best piece of advice is don't get hacked. <laughs> Easier said than done. Right? Whose responsibility is it to, 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 to protect? I mean, do you, do you look after yourself or uh, if you're the head of a family, are you, are you responsible to look after the cybersecurity of your entire family? Or is the CEO responsible for cybersecurity in an organization? Yeah. I think, I mean, it, from an accountability perspective, yes, it always comes down to, comes up to the head, I guess. Yeah. So the CEO is responsible, but that, uh, or accountable, so to speak. Yeah. But the responsibility is with everyone. Right. What I mean is, as a CEO, I would be accountable for everyone's security. But it's also your responsibility to not open the front door, yeah. Yeah. right? And I have to teach them, well, here are the locks, here are the keys, here's the protocol, here's how you prevent yourself. So it's a, it's a combination. Uh, same goes for, for families. Like yeah. I'm quite, I've got particular protocols and SOPs for how we run the family yeah, yeah. cybersecurity. We've got way too many devices. We've got like, our TV is smart, like Muhammad said, TV is smart, fridge is smart, toaster is smart. I don't want them to be smart, just toast my just, bread. Just, just, just give me a bit of toast, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it old school. <laughs> like that. That's perfect advice. <laughs> well, Rami, yeah. we can't thank you enough for joining us on the show and giving us such valuable advice that hopefully we can all go home and change our passwords oh, and sorry. implement. Um, thank you so much for yeah, joining us it. again. Thank you for having me. But now it's actually time for DXB in 60. Now, Mohammed, I'm not sure if anyone told you this, but Lane is going to be putting you to the test. Oh, God. I am indeed. <laughs> I am indeed. Now, do you know what? Out of all of the facts and the figures that you've given us today, one thing that really took me back was you said you've got children. You don't look old enough, man. Right, um, <laughs> it's, it's my skincare routine. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you um, um, a minute to answer as many questions as you can. Just more about yourself. Nothing too crazy. So it's all good. So we're going to go in three, two, one. Name a superpower that you wish you had. Being invisible. All right. The most secure social media platform in your opinion. Telegram. Okay. okay. Have you ever been hacked? Surprisingly not yet, but I'm sure people are trying. <laughs> <laughs> um, a me. book or movie series that you recommend? There's so many, but I'd say Mr. Robot. I'm, oh. I loved it. I still haven't seen it yet. Oh, I need to see that. Uh, your biggest inspiration? Uh, probably my dad. May God rest his soul. He passed away uh, a year and a half ago. Respect. But uh, he's been like the best robot I could ever wish for. Respect. What was your first job? I never actually had a job. I started my company in my last year of university and I've been an entrepreneur ever since. Other people would say I'm unemployable, so. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have dinner with anybody, who will it be? I'd love to sit down with Elon Musk, honestly. Oh, cool, and why Dubai? Honestly, why not, right? It's been uh, my home since 2012. Uh, it's been a country that's given me so many, a city that's given me so many opportunities. I'm here because of the fact that I'm, you know, in a, in a city that connects so many people, brings so many people together, and uh, give you access to a tremendous amount of resources and facilities that you couldn't find else anywhere else, right? And uh, as an entrepreneur, this is an amazing playground for entrepreneurs, especially when it comes to tech. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Ramit. You yeah, Mohammed, can't thank you enough for being our guest co-host. Thanks for coming in, for sharing your expertise with us. Really appreciate it. And fingers crossed, for, you're not going to get scammed, all right? Okay. Hopefully. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for having me. And Rami, bless you. Thank you very much indeed. Great Cheers. to catch up. Great to have two great minds with us here on the sofa. Here. Right, these guys keeping you safe. I can't guarantee your safety any minute now. You need to go and get your yoga mats now. Get ready. Get them laid out. Because coming up in a few moments' time, we're, having a, we're not having a bit of a workout. He's having a workout, okay? Lane, lunging, up next. You can join along at home. Stay with us. <laughs>